This video will provide an overview of the processes involved in setting a Porsche 944 engine to the top dead center position. The information contained here is applicable to the single overhead camshaft engine variants manufactured from 1982 to 1989. There are a number of service jobs on the 944 that will necessitate setting the engine to top dead center, some of which include replacing the timing and balance shaft belts, water pump replacement, front crankshaft seal replacement, oil pump drive gear replacement, camshaft housing seal replacement, and any work performed on the cylinder head. I'm going to start by disconnecting the positive terminal on the battery. There are some electrical leads here that go directly to the starter, and we don't want to ground out any tools when we go to remove the starter. The starter is secured to the lower clutch housing by two 19 millimeter bolts, one on either side. The two electrical leads should first be disconnected using a 13 millimeter and an 8 millimeter wrench. Once the leads are moved aside, the starter can be unbolted and removed. Later, the flywheel lock will be installed at this location. I'm now going to set the engine to top dead center and install the flywheel lock so that the balance shaft and camshaft belts can be removed. Top dead center is when the piston in cylinder number one is at the highest point of its compression stroke. It's used to align all the components needed for proper ignition timing. Really, this process can be completed at any point after removing the starter, but for demonstration purposes, it's nice to see how everything moves together. Setting top dead center involves rotating the crankshaft in a clockwise direction while observing certain alignment marks. The transmission will need to be in neutral and the engine will rotate more easily with the spark plugs removed or loosened. We'll use a 24 millimeter deep socket or extension and a long ratchet to rotate the engine from the front using the crankshaft bolt inside the power steering pump drive pulley. There are a few different ways to determine top dead center. The first is using an alignment notch at the bottom center of the bell housing. The second is through a square opening in the top of the bell housing above the speed and reference sensors. It's important to note that the crankshaft rotates twice for every single rotation of the camshaft. So if we simply set the crankshaft to top dead center without looking at the position of the camshaft, we may actually be at top dead center for the exhaust stroke for cylinder number one. We'll use the camshaft gear as a guide and as the alignment marks get closer, we're looking for the letters OT to appear on the flywheel through the window opening on the bell housing. Stopping when the alignment marks on the flywheel match the alignment tab. At that point, all marks can be double checked and the flywheel lock installed in the location of the starter mount. When installing the flywheel lock, it's easier to loosely secure one side first, then pivot the teeth into the ring gear, and finally thread and tighten the second bolt. With the flywheel lock installed, work can now be performed on the car while maintaining engine position to properly set ignition timing.